female chimpanzees are not exactly models of monogamy. <laughs> Nobody knows who the, who's the dad, essentially. <laughs> um, if a female were to mate with just one guy, then those other males would have an incentive to hurt, maybe kill that baby so she becomes oh. fertile again sooner. This is something we see in, they see it in baboons, they see it in lions, they see it in a lot of different species where there are multiple males around. That females essentially have to satisfy all the males that they are likely to come into contact with once that baby is born in order to protect the baby. So each male has some sense that maybe he sired the baby, but nobody is that confident <laughs> that they're going to invest. In, in taking care of, of that baby um, and and so you see a lot of social interaction amongst them there's a little bit of social interaction particularly for the um, the youngest females when they first come into a community it's pretty rough for them um, they're going to be 13 14 15 years old and when they come in uh, the resident females are just terrible <laughs> oh! really, really rude. Okay. Um, and so these females we find spend almost all of their time with males uh, because the males will protect them. For the males, this is a fantastic thing. <laughs> You've got a new potential mate. Um, they're pretty excited about it. So <laughs> the males will actually intervene if there's a fight involving one of these new immigrants. The young females try to try to get some protection from the boys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you'll join us for Dr. Thompson's talk on the secret lives of female chimpanzees on Wednesday, August 17th at the Harold Washington Library. Until then, check out some of our other cool science videos. And remember, science the day.